In today's video, we're exploring a world of geological wonders hidden beneath the waves, where Earth's powerful forces have shaped colossal underwater cracks. These features, often concealed from our view, showcasing the astounding forces that shape our planet. Join me for today's video. I'm counting down the top 15 largest and most mesmerizing underwater cracks. Number 15. Vanua Wuhu the Sangahe Islands of Indonesia are a chain of volcanically created islands that are in the Celebes Sea in the western Pacific. It's a region of heightened volcanic activity with some islands still being home to active mounts, and there's a large concentration of volcanoes in the surrounding water too. The most impressive of all these, though, is the one that's called Banua Wuhu, and it's around 28 miles to the south of the largest island group, the Sengir Besar. Rising more than 1,300 feet from the sea floor, it's been active for hundreds of years, and most times it erupts, a small island is temporarily formed on the surface before being eroded by the waves over the following decades. Now, what makes this particularly unusual, though, is that the summit of this submarine volcano is just 16 feet below the water's surface, which in combination with its closeness to the nearby islands makes it the only submarine volcano in the world that tourists are able to swim and dive in. You're able to get close enough to feel the warm bubbles being released, and to see fascinating structures that have formed over centuries of activity. Number 14. Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai Located around 40 miles to the north of Tonga Tapu is a large underwater volcano that's formed above the Kermadec Tonga subduction zone, which is where the Pacific tectonic plate is moving beneath the Indo-Australian plate. Now, it's known for being a particularly active seismic area, and in late 2021 it showed just how powerful it can be, reaching a height of around 6,500 feet above the sea floor. It was, until the most recent eruption, around 500 feet below the surface, apart from two small islands that emerged above the water in the volcano's rim. With eruptions believed to have taken place for more than a thousand years, it's an enormous volcano that's got a diameter of 12 and a half miles around the base. In just the past 15 years, major events have happened there. In 2009, in late 2014, and most recently in 2021, when the eruption was so powerful it triggered tsunamis that struck the coasts of Tonga, Fiji, New Zealand, Japan, and the U.S. And just the sound of the explosion itself was detected more than 110 miles away. Now, amazingly, it's believed to be the most powerful eruption to have happened since 1883 and was the strongest explosion ever recorded by modern instruments much more so than a nuclear bomb or other volcanic event. It was described as being a magma hammer that, at the peak of the eruption, created four underwater thrusts and displaced as much as 2.4 cubic miles of rock, which is why such powerful tsunamis were formed. Despite being quite some distance from the nearby islands, it caused substantial damage, so much so that it's now being monitored constantly in the hope that researchers can at least warn local communities if an eruption anywhere close to this one of this scale is to ever happen again. Number 13. The West Mata Volcano West Mata is an underwater volcano located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, around 124 miles to the southwest of the island of Samoa. It's one of the most remote and deepest known submarine volcanoes on Earth, and it is of particular interest to scientists because of its unique geological features and ongoing activity. It is part of the larger Mata Volcanic Group, which is made up of several seamounts and volcanic cones, and it's positioned along the Pacific Rim of Fire, which is a region that's known for its intense activity, including earthquakes and eruptions. The West Mata Mount rises 9,500 feet above the sea floor, but because of where it is, this still means that the peak is at a depth of 3,800 feet below the ocean surface. This extreme depth and challenging conditions of the deep sea environment make it difficult for researchers to study and monitor the volcano, and it was only in 2009 that an expedition managed to go there. By using remotely operated vehicles, they were able to capture footage of an eruption taking place at the volcano, which remains the second deepest known eruption to ever take place, and the first recorded event of its kind at such extreme depths. One of the more surprising discoveries at West Mata is the existence of black smoker hydrothermal vents on its summit. Now, these vents release superheated water rich in minerals and chemicals, and have supported the development of a unique ecosystem, one which is inhabited by extremophile organisms that thrive in conditions like these with the high pressure and high temperatures that are present there. Number 12. The Tasmanian Seamounts The Tasmanian Seamounts, they're a chain of hundreds of underwater mountains located deep within the Tasman Sea, which is the body of water that separates Australia from the island of New Zealand. Made up of a series of submerged peaks, many of which rise sharply from the sea floor to create underwater mountains, they were formed by volcanic activity at the Tasman hotspot around 55 million years ago. 
This hotspot is still active today and is a 2,000-mile mantle plume beneath the Earth's crust that extends so far that it's also the active center of Mount Erebus in Antarctica, which is the continent's second-largest volcano. For the Tasmanian seamounts, though, the constant accumulation of material has now meant that the chain covers an area stretching more than 16 miles, and at depths of around 6,000 feet, the peaks rise to about 2,000 feet above the sea floor. While this region is no longer volcanically active, the seamounts have been there for so long that they've played a vital role in the development of the ecosystem. The mountains serve as hot spots for marine biodiversity thanks to the upwelling currents around them that bring in nutrient-rich waters to the surface and therefore create favorable conditions for a diverse range of life. Coral reefs, sponges, and a variety of fish species thrive in the area, and research expeditions have not only gained insights into how these formations develop, but have discovered brand new species of marine life that only exist there. These discoveries have led to a 143-square-mile region being declared a protective marine reserve, representing around 70 of the known Tasmanian seamounts, or a fifth of those that have so far been charted. Number 11. Kavachi Kavachi is a highly active underwater volcano located in the Solomon Islands in the South Pacific. Since its first discovery in 1939, it's been known to emerge above the water surface and recede back beneath it at least eight times, and currently it rises around 3,600 feet above the seafloor to within 66 feet of the surface. This closeness to the surface means that its frequent eruptions create quite a display that include plumes of ash, steam, volcanic gases, as well as the ejection of molten lava. These eruptions are often visible from the surface and have been documented by researchers and explorers. An eruption in 2000, for example, saw molten lava being thrown at least 230 feet into the air, and sulfurous plumes of steam reaching altitudes of up to 1,600 feet. Not every eruption is as powerful as this, though, and from regular discolorations in the water around it, Kavachi is thought to be one of the most active volcanoes on Earth that we know about. Interestingly, it's got a very clear cyclical behavior and will go through periods of activity and dormancy, with eruptions occurring sporadically. These eruptions often lead to the formation of small, temporary islands that can be seen on the ocean's surface, but because of the type of rock it releases and the ocean's activity, these islands are short-lived and usually erode or sink back into the sea within a matter of days. Despite its remoteness and challenging accessibility, Kavachi is regularly monitored and studied because of how active and uniquely positioned close to the surface it is. It's ideal for learning how the gases it releases, along with the temporary nature of the islands it forms, influence local ecosystems and create habitats. Number 10. The Bunt Cake Volcano now, thanks to a number of research initiatives, the coastline of California is one of the most imaged and studied oceanic regions on the planet, and scientists often are discovering surprising structures that change our understanding of the sea floor. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration commissioned a survey in early 2023 with the world's largest uncrewed ocean mapping vehicle, called the Sail Drone Surveyor, and has targeted a region around 200 miles off the coast. Now, typically seamounts are expected to be closer to the shoreline than that, but to their surprise, they found a formation unlike anything that's been seen before, and it was best described as looking like a bunt cake, reaching a height of 3,200 feet above the seafloor, which is just a little too short to be officially classified as a seamount. It is, though, the remains of an ancient volcano, with a summit that's at a depth of around 1,200 feet below sea level. Now, what's unusual, however, is that while it clearly has a crater, it doesn't have any other features you'd normally associate with a volcano or a seamount, such as sloped sides. Instead, this one is strangely round and has steep sides. And there are a couple of theories as to how it ended up like this. The first is that it was formed during a series of rapid and intense eruptions, which occurred one after another at such a pace that the slopes weren't able to form in the usual way. It could also, though, be as a result of how old it is, and almost look at how the active underwater volcanoes today may look in millions of years of time. As the structures become a valuable source of nutrients for marine animals, it is possible the strange shape has been formed by many millennia of fish poop that's collected, solidified, and present in such volumes that it sharpened the slopes. Number 9. The Bermuda New England Seamount Arc the Bermuda New England Seamount Arc is a geological feature in the North Atlantic Ocean that stretches from the coast of New England to the island of Bermuda. The arc is made up of complex underwater chain of seamounts, some of which are quite large, rising up high over the ocean floor, and vary in size, shape, and age, showing that it's a region that's been active for millions of years. One of the most well-known seamounts within this arc is the Bear Seamount, located approximately 100 miles off the coast of New England. 
It's a towering underwater mountain rising to a depth of around 12,000 feet from the ocean floor and was formed by ancient volcanic activity. The entire arc's formation can be traced back to the tectonic plate movements, and it's located on the boundary between the North American plate and the Eurasian plate. Now, as these plates interact, the volatility has created geological features such as seamounts through processes like subduction and volcanic activity, and could even be the cause of one of the greatest mysteries of the area. Along with the extreme volcanic activity, it's also been found that there are gravitational anomalies along the plate boundary, which could be because of a higher density of metallic material that's been deposited there by the various processes. As this is being understood, there are also now suggestions that this could, in part, be a reason why electronics and compasses sometimes fail, and possibly the reason why the Bermuda Triangle is associated with such strange phenomena. Number 8. Marsili Marsili, which is around 109 miles to the south of Naples, is the largest volcano in the Mediterranean Sea. More specifically, it's within the Tyrrhenian Sea, which is off the western coast of Italy, and it's part of a long seamount chain that's believed to have formed around 2 million years ago, and become volcanically active as recently as 200,000 years. Reaching a height of around 9,800 feet from the sea floor, its summit lies at 1,476 feet beneath the water's surface. It is one of the largest volcanoes in Europe, too, measuring up to 19 miles across, which not only means it's bigger than Mount Etna, but also adds to how much of a risk it poses to communities across the region. It has been quite some time since Marsili had last erupted, with the most recent activity dated to around a thousand years ago. But with other active volcanoes nearby, it's considered to be dormant, with the very real possibility of an eruption at any time. Ever since it was first discovered in 1930, there have been concerns about the impact such an event could have. And the more that it's been studied, the more researchers have come to realize that the volcano's structure means it could almost completely collapse during a powerful eruption, something that has happened historically to other volcanoes along the same seamount chain. Now, if this were to happen, it could trigger a series of tsunamis that would batter the coastlines around the Med, and potentially be one of the most devastating volcanic eruptions in modern times. In order to monitor its activity and hopefully provide early warning if this were to happen, Marsili has been continuously monitored since 2005 by a series of sensors and sonar devices. Number 7. The Gardner Pinnacles Located around 588 miles to the northwest of Honolulu, Hawaii, you'll find two rocky outcrops emerging from the water's surface. Reaching a height of 170 feet and surrounded by a huge reef, they, like other islands in Hawaii, were formed by volcanic activity, but are just a small glimpse of the huge structure that lies beneath the surface. Known as the Gardner Pinnacles, the island is what remains of an ancient volcano, known as the Puahonu Volcano and one that's believed to be the largest single shield volcano on the planet. Recent studies have found the mountain to contain as much as 36,000 cubic miles worth of rock, and interestingly only a third of that volume is above the sea floor, with the remainder being buried beneath debris that's eroded from the volcano's peak. To put this into perspective, this makes it more than twice the size of Mauna Kea, which is the tallest known shield volcano on Earth. And Puhahona is so heavy that it's actually been shown to have caused Earth's crust to have sunk by several thousand feet over the millions of years that it's been there. Luckily, this volcano is long extinct, but if it were ever to reawaken and erupt, or if a similar new volcano were to form that had the same explosive potential as this one, then the results would be life-changing across the planet. Number 6. The Davidson Seamount The Davidson Seamount is a massive underwater mountain located off the coast of Central California in the eastern Pacific. It's part of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, and it's seen as the most significant seamount in U.S. waters. Measuring 26 miles long and 8 miles wide, it's one of the largest seamounts that's so far been found anywhere on Earth. It rises to a peak that's 7,400 feet above the sea floor, while still being 4,100 feet below the surface. It was first discovered in 1933, but at that depth, fuller study hasn't been possible until more recently. And it's almost a perfect example of a seamount that's allowed researchers to gather vast amounts of information about how structures like these form. As they're covered with water, the lava and material that's released during an eruption behaves very differently than what happens on land, and the Davidson Seamount is covered in strange structures that have been formed by rapidly cooling rock. The other thing about the seamount is that it's believed to have been formed around 15 million years ago and last erupted around 10 million years ago. This has given plenty of time for a vibrant ecosystem to form around it, with at least 27 different species of deep-sea coral and about 230 species of marine animals having been found thriving on it. 
It's now part of a protected marine environment. Study of seamounts like this could change what we know about the world beneath the waves. Only one in a thousand of our planet's seamounts have been studied at all, and while it was previously assumed that large parts of the oceans were virtually lifeless because of the extreme depths, there could well be vast ecosystems out there like the one at the Davidson Seamount that we had no idea about. Number 5. Fani Maure Mayoet is a small French island that's located between Madagascar and Mozambique, and like most land masses in this part of the Indian Ocean, it was formed millions of years ago by volcanic activity. Natural structures that surround the island, such as the large lagoon and vast coral reef, also support the narrative that the region has been seismically silent for hundreds of thousands of years, at least. But that all changed in 2018. In November of that year, seismic monitoring stations around the world and as far away as Hawaii detected signs of a large earthquake swarm that lasted for around 20 minutes, with an epicenter lying in the ocean 15 miles off the coast of Mayotte. Now, strangely though, no one felt the ground move like you might expect, but then over the following months, hundreds more earthquakes were detected of varying intensities. Almost a year later, a research team set sail to try to explain the anomalies, and hearing from fishermen of a site where strange sulfurous smells were in the air and dead deep-sea fish were found floating on the surface, they made a surprising discovery. 31 miles from the island, at a depth of 11,500 feet, was the summit of a vast underwater volcano that is still erupting and releasing 14,000 cubic feet of lava every second. Believed to have been the largest underwater eruption ever recorded, the volcano had been the cause of all the earthquakes as material pushed upward from inside the Earth's crust. And its activity had actually caused the island of Mayotte to move 10 inches to the east and sink by about 7.5 inches. It's now clearly an extremely active region, and with the volcano now having a cone that's 2,624 feet tall and 1.2 miles in diameter, residents on the island are now prepared for when it may strike again. Number 4. The Havre Volcano The Havre Seamount is a massive underwater volcanic mountain located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean near New Zealand. It's part of the Kermadec Tonga subduction zone, where the Pacific Plate is moving beneath the Australian Plate, and as a result it's led to the formation of a chain of seamounts and underwater volcanoes in the region, with Havre being the largest of them all. At around 3,000 feet below the surface, it's actually one of the biggest on the planet, but amazingly no one even knew that it was there until 2012. That's because in that year, a huge eruption took place over 90 days, during which time lava was released from 14 vents around the volcano's summit, in an event that's believed to have been the equivalent to the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. An estimated 75% of the material that was released made it to the surface and formed temporary floating islands in the area, which just so happened to be spotted by a passenger on a flight that went by, which is how the volcano was ultimately discovered. Satellites were tasked with imaging that region of the ocean and detected a vast debris field, but one that was made up of rock unlike anything that had been seen from an eruption before. That's because not only was the lava released directly into the water, but at such depths the pressure is up to 122 times that of sea level, meaning the magma instantly solidifies, forming long snake-like structures of rock that can in some cases extend for miles upon miles as one continuous structure. Number 3. The Explorer Seamount Explorer Seamount is a submerged underwater mountain located in the northeastern Pacific Ocean, around 162 miles off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. Now, it's believed to have formed through volcanic activity over millions of years. It's got a distinctive shape, characterized by steep slopes and a flat summit, and lies on the Explorer Ridge, which is a region of heightened tectonic activity and is where the Pacific and Explorer tectonic plates meet. With its summit lying 2,300 feet below the surface, the volcanic activity has had a much greater effect on the surrounding area than simply forming a seamount chain. The nutrient-rich waters here, which are created by upwelling currents, support a diverse range of marine life. And this is a vital ecosystem along Canada's coast that holds cold water corals, sponges, and various species of fish. Some of the corals found here on the Explorer Seamount are ancient and slow-growing, making them vital to understanding the long-term development of deep-sea reefs, but also particularly vulnerable to disturbances, meaning protections need to be put in place to prevent them from being damaged by human activity. Activities such as bottom trawling and mining on this sensitive area are therefore prohibited, and it's hoped that the continued study of the Explorer Seamount will help us to further understand the development and survival of what are now being understood as some of the most important marine habitats on Earth. Number 2. The Home Reef 
The Home Reef is a name given to a temporary volcanic island that forms and then vanishes from above a submarine volcano that's in the Tofua Volcanic Arc near Tonga. This region has the highest concentration of active volcanoes in the world, many of which are deep down below the surface. But in the case of the volcano beneath the Home Reef, the summit is just 33 feet beneath the waves. It is one of the most regularly studied undersea volcanoes of all because of the visible effects it has on the surface, and eruptions have been detected because of the formation of the island as long ago as 1852. Since then, the phenomenon has been recording taking place at least six times, and during some eruptions, pumice rafts have been released that have traveled as far away as Australia. Most recently, though, the Home Reef volcano began erupting in September of 2022 and released enough material that an island was formed with a size of around 15 acres, with ash clouds also billowing up into the atmosphere. Usually, this would be followed by a period of calm during which the island would be eroded away, but the volcano began erupting in late September of 2023 with the expectation that this will add to the island and make it even larger, perhaps this time to the extent that it will become an almost permanent feature, at least until the next time the volcano erupts. Number 1. The Tamu Massif the Tamu Massif is an enormous underwater volcano located in the northern Pacific Ocean, and it's part of the Shatsky Rise, which is a massive underwater plateau composed of several large volcanoes that's around 990 miles to the east of Japan. This is a unique position because it's at the triple junction of ocean ridges, and this geological oddity has led to the Tamu Massif developing as by far the largest volcanic structure on Earth. Its size is almost unbelievable, covering an area of more than 100,000 square miles, which is larger than the state of New Mexico. Its summit is 14,620 feet above the ocean floor, but still 6,500 feet beneath the surface. And it's because of this remoteness that it was only first discovered in 1993. Researchers at the time couldn't believe the enormity of the massif, along with the surrounding structures, and in total, the volcanic formations in the region are not only the largest on Earth, but one of the largest to have been discovered anywhere in our solar system. Just because it's gigantic, though, doesn't mean that it was a destructive or particularly powerful volcano, and in fact the opposite was most likely true. It's believed to have formed millions of years ago through a series of eruptions, resulting in the accumulation of layers of lava flows and volcanic material, and all of these would be relatively mild and effusive, which is why it was able to achieve such colossal size. Anything more powerful would have almost certainly caused it to collapse. It's also not entirely clear whether the Massif is one solitary volcano or a number that have combined together something that's hard to determine because it formed around 145 million years ago and has since changed substantially because of ocean erosion. It had previously been thought impossible that such a volcano could have ever existed on Earth, but the mere discovery of the Temu Massif means that the planet must have been far more active in prehistory than had been believed. Although luckily we live during a much quieter period and hopefully won't ever have to contend with the effects of an active volcano like this one. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos. Thank you to our channel members.